Hey there everybody, Don Evans here from WatchReport.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Zelos Eagle A1. A um, little over a year ago, Watch Report did a review on the Zelos Chroma. I personally did the review and it was a very interesting watch in its own right and um, I believe we also did a review on the Zelos... Um, I want to say it was the Abyss, I could be wrong on the model though. Zelos to me has really upped their game here with the Eagle A1. Now you see the DLC variant in front of you. There's also a bronze variant. Let me get the specs out of the way first. 42 millimeter case, double domed sapphire crystal, sandwich dial, 50 millimeter lug to lug, 42 millimeter wide, 16 millimeters thick, and a Miyota 9015 automatic movement. The current price is seven hundred and sixty dollars now we'll talk about why I say current price here in a minute let me give you a close-up look here at the dial you could see it is a two-tone dial the outer dial is actually a dark gray and the center dial is a dark black you have a two-piece case with the inner core and this outer core they are both done in different finishes the outer case is done in a brushed DLC the inner case blasted screw down crown as this watch is 200 meters water resistant you do have an exhibition case back and it has this uh, turbine uh, that is actually covering the movement here and I'll get to that in a minute as to uh, why you have that uh, design there added to it So $760, the reason the price is that much is because this was offered as an early bird pre-order through the Zelos website. Now, he took, you know, the Kickstarter mentality and did it on his website through a pre-order. So you were able to get this watch on the pre-order at a very significantly less price of $460. That's $300 off. At $460, this watch was a steal for what it has to offer and for what it is. Um, if I didn't mention it already, there's also there's also a bronze variant. Um, of course, because I have the DLC in hand, I'm going to concentrate on the DLC version. But if you like bronze, check that out on their website. Seven hundred and sixty dollars. Yes, that's a lot more than four sixty. Is it worth it? My opinion, yes. Now, granted, you have to like the design. You know, forty-two millimeters is a little small for you. Eh, it might not be worth it. Um, if this open skeleton two-piece case design is, you know, not for you, eh, it might not be worth it. But if it is, and you are somebody that is watching this video that likes this watch, in my personal opinion, in terms of quality and construction, and comparable to other brands out there with a Miyota 9015 at this price point, it is definitely worth it. So the design inspiration for this is after a uh, fighter jet engine, so um, or a fighter jet in particular. So the grooves on the inner case here are done after the grooves on a, a fighter jet engine. The grooves and the style of the crown here are done after an engine nozzle. And as I said, um, at least to me, that's like supposed to be like the turbine of the jet here. Um, that is covering the movement. Miyota 9015 powering this movement, as I said, um, you know, it's become the go-to movement for many micro brands, and there is a reason for it. It is a great movement. You know, when you look at this watch overall, it's just it's just badass there's no really other word to describe it and for somebody who does a lot of reviews such as myself and uh, you know we always try and bring you uh, and show you the best look at the watches we can possible you know a lot of times you see something that's very similar to other watches or you see something that's just uh, an homage to other watches and every watch has its own right and place and there's nothing wrong with that but when you get a watch from a company like a micro brand such as Zelos um, with something this unique and out of the box, but out of the box to me in, in, a, in a good way, um, it's not over the top. This is a watch you want to sit there and look at. This is a watch you want to sit there and, you know, 
it's it's just a great looking watch and uh, quality and the features that you have you know the the materials used DLC stainless steel case sapphire crystal that sandwich dial the loom below it um, you know it's that under you know underneath you have that dial that allows uh, the watch to glow is BGW9 Super Luminova, so it glows like a nice ice blue. You also get two straps with this watch. So you get the 22 millimeter gray distressed vintage looking canvas that is leather backed with this beautiful, rich, um, vintage looking style leather. Um, this is a great strap that is going to wear really well um, and out of the box it was super comfortable. The other strap you get uh, that I have not tried this watch on, um, it's kind of like a cherry uh, wood brown color. Um, the quality in my opinion is not the best. Um, obviously you could maybe break it in. Um, Personally, I'm not a fan just of the look of it on this strap or on this watch. I, I much prefer this canvas and leather. It is 22 millimeters, so um, any you know uh, type of strap, whether it be a rubber strap, another leather strap that you have, will fit this watch. I think the gray does complement it nicely, though. Uh, this gray canvas. Uh, of course, if you have other canvas straps that you would like to use. Um, they would look great as well. I'm not sure how a NATO would really look on this uh, due to the case construction, but hey, if you want to give that a try, because um, you like NATO straps, uh, give that a try as well. As I said, it is a screw down crown. The crown unscrews with no issues. Screws back down very nicely. Um, no issues with the quality or function of this watch at all whatsoever, in my opinion. There we go. Sorry, I'm doing this from behind the camera. Um, that double dome crystal is going to cause some distortion at certain angles, though. Um, and, of course, you can see that you're going to get a lot of reflection in there. You don't notice it as much on the wrist. Um, you know, with my studio set up here and, you know, the lights on it and the camera, yeah, you're going to get reflection. But on the wrist, it actually looks pretty good, um, in my opinion. So let me show it to you on my seven and a half inch wrist for size reference. And then uh, I'll also show it to you on the buckle that I forgot to show you. So there it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. Uh, great size. It does play thick, you know, because of the case construction in that double dome sapphire crystal. But, um, you know, just a great looking watch. And like I said, it's different, it's unique. It's not like everything else out there. It's not a dive watch. It's not, you know, your standard pilot style watch. Now, like I said, I forgot to, you know, talk about the buckle here. And um, I'll take it off the wrist and show it to you better here. But I wanted to show it to you on my 7.5 inch wrist. So you can gauge uh, size for yourself. Okay. The buckle is also skeletonized. It's done in the DLC coating, of course. And it is also skeletonized to match the case. So they didn't go with an off-the-shelf buckle. Um, you know, they had a CNC machined buckle here. Attention to detail is what I'm trying to show. I've said this many times. I've uh, seen and reviewed many brands over the years. And I've, you know, done big brands that you have a $3,000 watch and a buckle um, that was pulled from, you know, whatever catalog, uh, uh, you know, simple stamped buckle. And I see a lot of micro brands stepping up when it comes to buckles and clasps lately. Overall, this, in my opinion, um, I, I can't really find any glaring faults. You know, um, here at Watch Report, our tagline is real, honest watch reviews. And I always try and be honest. If I was to say something negative about this watch, the only thing is because of this skeletonized case like this, the two piece case design, you know, just through normal da uh, daily wearing, you're going to see dirt, lint, dust, everything collect on the inside of the case. And, um, you know, could be a little annoying. Um, if you're somebody that's a little OCD, it could be a lot of, you know, a lot annoying. 
what I've been doing is just taking, my apologies, I just hit the camera there, just taking a can of compressed air and, uh, you know, blowing it out in there occasionally when I see uh, the dust and dirt build up in there. Otherwise, I really can't complain about this watch at all. For the full review, go to watchreport.com. There'll be a link in the description below. Give us a follow on social media. We are on uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and now Pinterest. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are not, you will never miss another video review. This has been a look at the Zelos Eagle A1 Automatic. This has been Don Evans for WatchReport.com, your home for real, honest, hands-on reviews. And I hope to catch you guys on the next video.